girls. Hey boys. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look here. Um, it was inspired by Fall, but as well as Nikki Tutorials. Um, she posted this picture on Instagram. I think it's for her collab. And I was just like, oh my god. Like, I've been seeing the gold, um, the gold freckle trend going around. But this was, like, gorgeous. I'll insert the picture right here. Like, look at this. Her freckles, gold freckles, that highlight, mm, screams fall, and it's just gorgeous. So yeah, I just want to make this intro short, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get started. So I went ahead and did my eyebrows, and I used, ah, and I used my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Chocolate. Now I'm going to prime my face using my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Since I did my eyebrows, I went ahead and concealed my eyelids using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10. I'm just going to set it with my Laura Mercier powder. I think I want to do something a little different this time. I usually do my eyes and then my face, but I think I want to put a layer of foundation on first. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me um, Matte and Poreless Foundation and this is in the shade Soft Tan number, two, two, number 228 and I'm just going to apply that using my Beauty Blender. As for concealer, I'm going to be using my NARS concealer in the shade Custard. Now to set my under eyes, I'm going with my Laura Mercier powder, as always, and just going to take my Beauty Blender and set under my eye. Oh, eyes, not eye. So to make sure I don't crease throughout the day, um, I like to put powder on my lip, and then on my forehead, and on my chin, and just let it sit there for a little bit. Okay, and while I let that sit, I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face using my, uh, not MAC, using my Elf Complexion Powder Brush. I'm going to use this to put powder throughout my whole face using the Laura Mercier powder. So we're gonna go ahead and do the bronzer, the highlight, the blush, everything else after my eyes. I just wanted to do my foundation before. So you guys already know my favorite blending brush is the MAC 224 blending brush. So we're gonna use this brush. So the first shade we're gonna start with is Burkina. Now I'm gonna add some of Zulu just to give it a little more warmth. I'm going in with my Bia Bella RG215 brush. I'm going to take this brush and use Fulani, which is this darker brown shade. So I'm grabbing my Morphe 25A palette, and this one is like neutral heaven. So I think I'm going to use. Hmm. This shade right here, they don't have names, but this is like a fudge brownie brown shade. And I'm going to also mix this one right here. And focusing that on the outer end of the eye. So 
Okay, so I think that's gonna be good for now. I'll probably touch up after I add the lid color, but in the picture she has like a orange shimmery eyelid going on. So I'm going to be using, okay, I have this eyeshadow, but I do not know where it's from. It's inside my Z palette and I looked at the back of it and does it say where? I'm pretty sure I got it from my Ipsy bag, so yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna spray it with my Max Fix Plus. Not the whole entire lid, but where I didn't darken it up, I'm just gonna apply um, that shimmery orange shade. The Copper, that's the name, Copper. Okay, so I don't want fallout happening, so hold up. Let me go bake under my eyes just in case it does fall. So I want it to be a little more orange, so I'm going to go in with my Naked Cosmetics pigment in... What number is this? Eight. This is what it says in the back. I'm not sure the name. It kind of just gives me a whole bunch of numbers. It's by Naked Cosmetics. Whoa, you guys see that? I'm going to go in with my Ofra Beverly Hills Highlighter and just go in this white highlighting shade using a pencil brush and again spraying it with Fix Plus. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish the left side of my eye and apply some lashes and I will be right back. Alright, so I went ahead and finished this eye and I also applied my lashes. And I use the Violet Boss Eyes Eyes Baby. Um, these are like my favorite lashes ever at the moment. So let me just highlight my brow bone. I'm gonna go back in with the Beverly Hills Highlight and just take the champagne shade right. Okay, now to set my eyebrows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Now to bronze my face, I'm going to be using the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. And of course, the same brushes that I always use, the Morphe M527 brush and the M104 brush. I'm going to use this brush, um, it is from the Makeup Shack. blush I'm going to be using of course the MAC Melba blush I'm actually running out now guys I got this like maybe a year or two ago this is the only blush I use and Urban Studios stippling 204 brush now to highlight my face I'm going to use the Ofra highlighter in Beverly Hills which I've been using for my eyes and the Morphe M510 brush and I'm mostly gonna be focusing my highlight mostly on these two shades right here So I'm going to go back into the eyes with my BH Cosmetics 105 brush, which is just like a pencil brush. And taking, and going back into the Morphe palette, taking these two dark brown shades to smoke out my lower lash line. Okay, so now that I smoked out my lower lash line, I'm going to apply mascara. And I'm using my Pixie 3 in 1 mascara. I'm going to be use a gold glitter liner and then just probably add some more loose glitter on top of it. I hope this works. I think I'm going to stop the freckles here. Um, she did have it go up here, but I 
kind of want to just leave it right here. I'm using the NYX Lip Liner in Brown and the ColourPop's Ultra Satin Lip in Stud. Alright guys, so that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the look that I achieved um, inspired by Nikki Tutorials as well as Fall. And yeah, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you've seen in the future. Please subscribe. Stay bloomy and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!